live fishing for trout with spinning gear. My second shot at it. Let's see how it goes with a different setup on this episode. On my last episode of spin fishing with flies, I wasn't really successful up there in the delayed harvest section of the Natahala in North Carolina. Today, I'm on Big Tumbling Creek in Virginia, and I'm taking the advice a number of folks gave me. The key advice was to try these Bombarda floats instead of the big nasty one I was using last time. You rig these up in a strange way, it's just kind of like a slip bobber, and the fly and the tippet go on this end. Just like last time, I know that I need a good ultralight outfit to be able to throw something as wide as this, even with the Bombarda float. Because you don't want a float so huge that it makes a big splash. And I'm up here on some brookie water, and those things are skittish. Now to make something like this work, you've got to have the right gear. And so what I've chosen is a ultralight rod from Cadence Fishing. This one is moderate fast, so that's the perfect size to throw a float just like this. Then to make sure I've got some smooth action when I reel this fly in, I've got my CR10 1000 series reel. This thing is perfect. So let me rig up the fly and let's see if I can catch a fish here. Concluded, I was trying to use that fly fishing for spin fishing rig in the wrong environment. The stream was too narrow, the water was too fast. So I'm going to give it a try up here where there's a bigger pool where I can get a better cast. Let me show you what the pool looks like. Pretty sweet. Here's the problem with this float. It tends to helicopter. You can see that my fly has been wrapped around everything, and I've got to unscrew it to throw it again. Also, I recommend against this light when you got a lot of white foam in the water. I had to put this little indicator here so I could even see the thing. Well, I haven't changed the fly once and give it a couple more casts. I'll be dang, good work. I had a hit over there, but he got off. Let me see if I can get him on again. It looks like they're hitting stuff on top, so I switched to a dry fly. But again, in helicopter. Spending more time raising out my fly than I am fishing. Well, I had another one. Helicoptered again. Even though I'm getting hits out there, I just don't think this is working well. It's just too long and nasty. Maybe what I ought to do is cut it off and try it again, but that's for another day. I'm going to give it one more shot here. 